We're here at Oshkosh 2018 and we're standing in front of the Aerolite 103, but we're not going to talk to Dennis Carley, the manufacturer of this airplane. We're going to talk a little bit differently about it. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Rick Hayes here. And Rick, what have you got to do with this airplane now? I know you from other airplanes. So what's this one all about? Well, Why are we standing in well, front of this airplane? Well, this one's getting back to the basics, back where I started, the love of flying low and slow. The Aerolite's caught my eye for quite a few years now. The price of the uh, ELSA, SLSA, all the light sports stuff keeps going up. And that gets to be faster, more expensive flying. And I'm going back to my roots of the low, slow fun type of flying and I think the Aerolite you know meets all that they've been around 20 some years and I run into Dennis Carley down to uh, Sun and Fun this year and got talking to him I thought well you know I want to get involved with these people. Dennis is very good to work with. Good to hear that. A good businessman. Um, I ordered a I bought his old trailer from him and I <laughs> have it in a fill up full of planes in Florida as we speak and after the show, I'll be heading to Florida and bringing five of them back to Michigan. Is that right? Okay. Where in Michigan are you located? I'm south of Flint, Michigan. South of Flint. Between okay. Flint and Detroit. Okay. All right. So for most people, Detroit, you're kind of close Correct. to I'm Detroit. Correct. I'm 60 miles north of Detroit. Okay. There you go. All right. So um, tell us about some of the other airplanes that you've dabbled with before you came back to your roots here. Okay. Well, I played around with buying ultralights, uh, light sports, experimentals, rebuilding building, selling. Uh, I became a dealer for Rands roughly 10 years ago. Okay. And I was building for Randy and selling for Randy. Then we moved on to the Sling aircraft a couple years ago. And uh, from there I sold out to my partners and decided to get back into the ultralights again. So is that right? that's where my passion is, the ultralights. Cool. Well, you know, there, there must be a whole collection of you that are doing that because we see, I perceive, not not spectacular growth, but nice steady growth to the Part 103 world, or at least the single place, light single place world. And so there, I think there must be a lot of folks like you. Are you sensing that as well? Yeah, I've, I've seen it the last couple of years. I've sensed it coming back, and I've been talking to people, and I said, you know, this is something that's going to come back. Maybe not as strong as it was. But there's people my age that started out ultralights realizing how much fun that was back in the day and wanting to return to it. And quite a few people I've talked to today have done the same thing. They've started out ultralights and now they like to go back to low, slow, and expensive flying. Well, you know, it's a. Uh it's such a special airplane, uh, this particular one I'm familiar with for a long, many years. It has such a wonderful price. I mean, well under $20,000. Now, there's details you'll want to find out lots more about, and there are ways to spend a little more than that. But for well under $20,000, you can not only get one of these, but it's fully built and ready to fly. Correct. That's a remarkable thing in today's world. That's less than the average price of a new car now. Right, and you look at the kits on this. This kit comes more assembled than most kits. You get 40 to 60 hours to put this together. And, that and right? that's nothing. The fuselage wings are all built up. It's mostly just sliding the fabric on the wings and install your engine package. You're, so talking, happens, you're talking a few weeks in, even, even yeah, part-time. Yeah, they're talking 40 to 60 hours. So. Yeah, that's... That's really no time at all. No, you look, yeah, you look at most of the light sports and you're talking thousand hours of pulling yeah, those together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know because you've done yeah, that. I've done a few, yeah. And uh, so this one's a, a delight that way. Now, as a dealer, are you going to focus just on kits or are you going to do the fully built as well? I'm going to be doing both and I I haven't even received my kit yet and I've got a couple sold. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? All right. You know, I, there, there is an interest out there. When I changed my website over to the ultralight stuff and I started getting, you know, thousands of hits within a couple weeks. You know, I put right? some stuff out on some Facebook groups and there's a big interest in ultralights. And it just really surprised me the hits that was coming in just in a few weeks. So there's a lot of interest in the part 103. Is that right? Well, it, it seems obvious to me because we keep hearing about more people doing it and yet if I pull back far enough I'll find people will go, oh what, those are still around? I thought that all disappeared years ago and well no, look around here. I mean everything I'm looking at behind you is basically that kind of aircraft. So so you're going to do this in Michigan. Now, this aircraft is not a fully enclosed aircraft, and Michigan can get a little cool some parts you know, of the year. How are you going to deal with that? Back in the day, it used to be a snowmobile suit ah, instead of snow skis. So <laughs> There you go. So you still got some of that gear around? Right, yep. So you just <laughs> bundle up a little bit as you need to? No different than snowmobiling. <laughs> now, you do have a whole windscreen. Uh, the aircraft, uh, because it's all clear up there, the whole sort of nose cone, I might call it, is all, I assume that's Lexan, is it? Yes. Yeah, so that's that very durable stuff if you don't, happen to know what Lexan is, but uh, that gives you a fair bit of protection in the seat from 
Yeah, you don't get much of a wind blast off that. Yeah. And, 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 and of the, course it's a single seater, so there's, you're not worrying about anybody else getting air right, blasts. It's right. just you and you and your smile aloft. And, uh, sounds pretty yeah, that's good. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so you're going to have airplanes now available for people when? You've already sold a couple, but you no, don't actually have them yet. Is no, that right? We're looking at maybe a couple weeks from now after Oshkosh, I'll be going down to Florida and bringing them back to Michigan. I've got to okay. start right away putting them together. Pretty for soon after people. that, then, there'll be airplanes flying. So basically before fall. Oh, yes. You'll have airplanes yeah. available ready for people to go. Right. Well, so if you can't get them directly from Dennis Carley, or if you just want to have somebody nearby, you're quite a ways away, so I'm sure he's happy to have someone else help represent the product. Right. There. What I'm going to try to do is keep them in stock so there's not a wait time, and uh -huh. so if somebody wants to come to Michigan, they can have it now if they want it. Well, that's great. That's, uh, boy, in stock. Uh, you know, we're spoiled by automobiles where you go to an auto dealership and he's got a lot full of cars. Somebody else has probably financed them, but they're there to take away right now. Airplanes, not that way generally. You order them and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, but not with you. No, and that, that's kind of what my niche is here with Dennis. Um, people, people, some people don't want to wait, you know, a couple months for a kit to come together. They want to fly right now, so. Sure, sure. Well, and he's a manufacturer, so he can't do that all the time. No, he can't. He's, uh, he I mean, needs people like you to help him out that way. Right. Good stuff, works, Rick. Works good for both of us. Describe the flight characteristics of this airplane a little bit. You know, if you compare it to what something's familiar, somebody's familiar with, I'd say a Quicksilver. Okay. Yeah, it, it, that's just my feel for it. Um, it's not like the light sports and stuff I've done, but you know, a lot of adverse yaw and low slow. You know, depending on what engine, what your climb gotta out use, is. Got to use a rudder pedal. Yes, you do. Okay. A lot of pe people say, well, you know, an ultralight, they're, they're just bare bones. You don't even have brakes on those things, which you almost don't need either, actually. But here you've got kind of everything you need. Yeah. Brakes, uh, flaps. Is um, this set up with this engine that meets part 103 regs? And with this all, does meet with, the With all the options on it, yes. Okay. So, Ricky mentioned the uh, part 103 and how this one, as the one we're looking at here, does make weight as it's configured right here. Um, but some people are going to go, well, yeah, but I'd, I'd, I'd like a bigger engine or I'd want the, whatever it is they want that pushes it up over that tight limit that Part 103's got, 254 pounds. If they say that, can you offer them a kit? I, I can offer them a kit. Now, that'll be an experimental amateur built then. Correct. Will you help them build it? I can do a builder's assist. A builder's assist. So that they, if they go, wow, I, I do want all that stuff, but I don't know anything about building. What will you say? Right. Come and visit me? You can come visit me and you know, within a week or two we can have it all together. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Again, that quick build, it, they don't have to make it two weeks here and then two weeks next month and then two no. weeks the next month. They no, just they can come show, once, they, Yeah, they can show up and we can have it done. Beautiful deal. And you'll have, are you going to try and stock those as well as you're in your well, operation? Well, I get them as the basic kits and we go from there whatever they want as far as options. If the option puts it over the 103 weight, then we deal with the EAB. And That's otherwise, you want can to build it fully for them. Right. So uh, here, a web address again for how we find out about your operation up there in Michigan. Okay, it's hayesarrow.com. It's H-A-Y-E-S-A-E-R-O.com. Okay, great. Lots of stuff about this airplane, other things that Rick has done over his years in the business, and all kinds of affordable aviation available on buydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Rick and myself here at Oshkosh 2018. Thank you, Dan.